carbon, because there are two nitrogens in there. Six molecule ring attached to a five molecule ring. And look at this little S one, right? This one's got a sulfur. So differences. You do have this, which is similar to niacin, but it's attached to this. And this has some sulfur in it. And this middle part is not attached, whereas in riboflavin, you've got three put together. The main one in the body is thiamine diphosphate. This is what it gets converted to to be active, 80 to 90 percent. This is THDP, um, which means that there are two phosphate groups attached to where the OH is. Um, that's just the structure. I'm not going to quiz you on that, but it makes sense, right? Diphosphate, thiamine diphosphate. Um, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So thiamine is involved in being able to get the energy out of your carbohydrates. If you want to go from pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, you need thiamine. Uh, it also is in the pentose phosphate pathway, so let's go back to DNA, right? Um, so, deoxyribonucleic acid is based on ribose. Ribose is made by carbon sugar. Pentose phosphate pathway is the 5 And we kind of, I don't want to say blew through this pathway, but we kind of did not highlight it in 417A because we were so focused on our six carbons. But it is important and we do need it. If we want to make some DNA, we got to have some ribose, okay? So that's where the DNA part comes in. Like if we go back up here. Um, oh, I guess it's not up here yet. Oh, yeah, there it is. Necessary for energy production. That's because 